Rick, say hi. I'm Rick Douglas, 28 years old, Senior Operations Manager at SPI Global. Stop playing with my camera! Ako si Gamak. Bukid nun ko daang ang aran. Pero nung yung Glimer, sa birth certificate ko, 29 anyos, isa ka maestro giya sa bukid kang tapas kapis. Ang kasaysayan namun, isa ka malawig na hinunanon kang pagpalagyo. Ni Ipuhawa ta de matsugid ipuhawa ta isuliganen tuyagid sa ginono an tuyasagin sugdan para genhan para menhan pamayaw bayawan inore bagong pina Mada ko no, ya among mga kapakuan, naghalin pa sa isla kang Borneo. Nalagyo sa andato ya, hay tama kapinta si andam dato. Sa anda pagpalagyo, nakalabot sa andagya sa isla kang Panay. I'm Filipino-American. Philam is what you people would brand us sometimes. But I'm more American since I've been there for as long as I can remember. I worked at SPI Chicago for a couple of years, and I was assigned here in the Philippines just last week. Pagkatapos kang malawig na tiyon, umabot ang mga katsila, kaginsakopia, isla kang panay. Haygin pilit ka mga katsila, nga bag-uho ni andang kinaandan sumaka sanda sa mga kabukiran kagtuya na nga buhi it malawig na tinitin nagpadayon niya amon kinaandan I was hesitant at first but I accepted the offer though I'm Filipino by blood and I thought it would be an experience to see the country where I originally came from. Nineteen eighty-two, kadang ginbun ag ako. Masandukot dun ya inawa, kato sa tunga kang mga militari kag NPA sa bukid. Modoto, ginmando ka gobyerno, nga tanan nga si Bilyan, persahon, nga magdulog agud to makapalagi sa gera. I don't know yet, Mom. Honestly, I, I, I don't know yet. I, I hardly know these people, Mom. Okay. Mom, please don't insist. I guess I'll just meet them and say hi. Well, Mom, well, how's Dad? 
Okay, then. Well, I'll, I'll call you back tonight, okay? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, yes, Mom. All right, I love you, too. All right, bye for now. <laughs> Mom. Final the night. I'm not really sure, but my mom and dad told me that they saw this woman outside their mission with a sick baby with her. They asked her hints since both of them were soaked and wet, but the woman just gave them the baby and said she didn't know what to do with them. So the two Caucasian couple nursed the baby till he was well. They tried looking for the woman, but they could no longer find her. So they processed the adoption and brought the baby to the U.S. And that would be my epic story. <laughs> I just, I just want to know who they are. And say hi and leave. They waived their rights when they gave me away. Moto. <laughs> Gintaonan ta sa Amerikano nga mag-asawa ya tibayon ko. Hay daw mapatay do kita na ko no. Pagkabata pa lang kalibayon ko nga daan. Indi don ta na mayad ya sitwasyon na. Gapalangit om ta na don pagwa na sa busong ni nanay. Naglala ya condition na kuno katong ginpabakwit kami tungod sa gera. Tapas. We're, we're here. Finally. Woo. So Rick, this is your brother, and your brother Rick. My brother told me that the story of our tribe is a long narrative about flight. This Bukidnon story is about coming home. I am Labao Dongon. That is the Bukidnon name my mother gave me. It means highly honored. I am Labao Dongon. And I am home. Sa paglupad kang mga bano Kita nga pagumpinalaknan Magasunod 